Caddis Maximus here. Just a little video about the Harbor Freight Doyle. Advertise, they advertise these as a six inch billet conduit levels used by electricians. The idea is that when you're installing conduit, electrical, that's the electrical pipe that you see on various buildings, etc. Rather than using traditional levels, you use these little billet levels just because they're convenient and with conduit, you end up using four primary angles, zero or 90 degrees, so horizontal, vertical, 45, and in this case, they're also including a 30 degree. I only have one other of these, this is actually the Empire. Some brands like Klein and stuff charge 30, 40 dollars for these, which is kind of surprising. The Doyle's 20 bucks, the Empire's only like 22 dollars. I think overall, it's pretty decent. This little thumb screw here, a brass thumb screw, just so it doesn't corrode. You're supposed to put this over the end of a pipe and then you can pinch it onto the end or the, of the conduit. And then when you bend it, you can actually just have the whole end of the pipe raise up and make sure that you're getting whatever angle that you want, 45 or 90, etc. Of course, it has a set of magnets on the bottom, just like the Empire. But it does seem like the Empire is just a, I have to say, slightly more mature product. I do appreciate that they machine these flat on the Doyle. But the Empire, it already either comes, this billet already comes pre-machined, but it does, it is smoother not having just the shiny kind of coarse ten thousandths of an inch feed rate. Only three magnets here, but one of the wise things about the Empire is on the horizontal, you can see it from the bottom, either side, or the top. And uh, I think that's just a little bit uh, wiser, just a little bit more thought in the product. The other thing is the tailpiece here. We have a couple of nice little chamfers there just so it doesn't have the sharp edges. Where on this, it does have some sharp edges. They could have knocked those off. And since both of these are about the same price, pretty legitimate criticisms. As far as the visibility of the bubble levels themselves, I actually kind of like the more lime green on the Doyle instead of the more <laughs> uh, yellowish, I should say, on the Empire. Another thing which I'm fine with is the Empire epoxies the little bubbles in there. It has a V groove, of course, so that you can use it the other way and just set it right on top of the uh, conduit itself. The Doyle, they're using these little plastic inserts and that actually creates a problem because of course like here, the, the V groove is pretty good, but they kind of stand proud just a little bit, which will cause it to have a little bit of rocking in certain situations. Certainly not the biggest deal, but if you're going to use these plastic inserts, at least make sure that they're all the way down. The last thing, and the reason I'm comparing these is I was noticing there's just so many subtle differences. Like here on the Doyle, the way they have this set up, you look at the, both the 30 and 45 degree vials via this direction. Or the Empire, you'd look at the 45 like this or the 30 like this. It gives you a nice clean window, but what it also does is it gives you a nice thick portion of webbing here because of course when you drop these and they'll inevitably be dropped they'll hit either the ends or around the corners very like less very little likelihood that they're going to land flat like that or like that they're going to hit on one of the corners and so this has quite a bit of reinforcing and that's like the biggest worry is right here we can see that this gets mighty thin and if this gets dropped and hits right here there just isn't much material this section is going to want to besides just getting dinged up inevitably that's what will happen with aluminum usually you're over concrete when you're installing conduit so this is really likely to fracture right here it just isn't very wide it's really thin and this whole corner right here is just cantilevered out there and anybody knows about that kind of stuff will know that this is more likely to get dinged up rather than the heavy structure that's on the empire and so overall, I like the Empire. I like that it's blue. It's a little bit easier to see on a job site than a red. Although I will give you know credit to the Doyle for having really large printing on it, which I think is a good idea. Probably the big criticism of the Empire is they just use these tiny printing, although it's not a big deal. You tend to know which ones are which. Horizontal, vertical, 45, and 30. So the printing size isn't such a big deal. I think for 20 bucks the Doyle is pretty decent and really the biggest caveat to it 
really is this weak front edge here. That will get bent up if it gets dropped there. And I think the Empire one, as far as weight, I think the Empire even weighs just a little bit more. And, of course, they could have cut a little slot on the Doyle just to um, make it easier to see the zero degree or the horizontal level. Other than that, not a lot else to say about this thing. It's just neat to see these little uh, conduit levels. Of course, these are like torpedo levels, the short little levels. A torpedo level, it tends to be like a little 12 inch, just small carpenter's level. But this being a conduit one, that means absolutely nothing. A level is a level and you can certainly use this for a variety of situations. And what is nice about these conduit ones is the fact that they are small, compact, have more angles. They tend to have the 30 degree where most carpenter's levels either are 0, 90, and some of them will have a 45. The fact that these are small and compact and nicely they do have magnets in them some carpenters torpedo levels have magnets but these have really strong ones which is a nice feature in many situations anyway really appreciate everybody who's been watching see you next time